Hello everyone, so today we are going to discuss about cylindrical reduction. What does cylindrical reduction mean? That you just have to reduce the cylindrical number from the patient's prescription and the other name of cylindrical reduction is the spherical equivalent, right? So the symbol of the spherical equivalent is SE. How you are going to calculate the spherical equivalent is that you just need to add the spherical power into the half of the cylindrical power so here you can see that se equals to sphere plus half of the cylinder and you just need to neglect the axis of the patient right so you just not need to consider the axis of patient in case of the spherical equivalent so here we have a prescription of plus three sphere and minus one uh, cylinder at the axis of 90 degrees so what you have to do is that you have to take the spherical equivalent of this prescription so you just need to add the sphere into the half of the cylinder by neglecting the axis so what you are going to do is that spherical equivalent is equal to plus 3 with the algebraically sum plus half of the cylinder so here the cylinder is minus 1 so half of the cylinder will be here the uh, minus 1 divided by 2 will be minus 1 uh, sorry 0 0.50 so the half of the cylinder in this prescription is minus 0 0.50 so you just need to spherically algebraically add the sphere into the half of the cylinder which is plus 3 plus minus 0 0.50 so here you should know that plus minus is always minus so here plus 3 minus 0 0.50 will be equal to the plus 2.50 diopter sphere so this is the spherical equivalent or the cylindrical reduction of the above prescription and which this uh, spherical equivalent is optically equal to the above prescription right but the difference is that here there is not any cylinder because we have said that we have reduced the cylinder in the prescription so this is only applicable in the cases where patient does not appreciate any cylindrical number either plus or either minus so in that cases we can prescribe the spherical equivalent number to the patient right so this was all about today's lecture of the cylindrical reduction or the spherical equivalent if you have any query regarding the uh, topic you can comment in comment section thank you so much